PowerPoint lesson using only keystrokes. Lessons at www.yourtechvision.com. Okay, today we're going to go ahead and do a little PowerPoint menu. E -O -E -R -E -O -I lesson. PowerPoint, Microsoft Enter, leaving menu, cancel button to activate, press space. As if you have been on YouTube, you've seen my students whip through a PowerPoint. So we've got PowerPoint open, change to Windows 7 basic and, and, and I want to go ahead and uh, integrate a really nice design, design here. And of course, I'm thinking this one is going to be a really nice, one. nice Christmas theme. And I'm going to go ahead and tab into it. Type my message. I want to center that title. And I want to move it up a little bit. I'm going to hit escape twice. Tab in. YourTechVision.com. I'm going to select that whole part and I'm going to center that also. And there is my first page. So let's go ahead and create a new document. Uh, excuse me, create a new page within this document. I'm going to tab in here and let's go ahead and type tree just as you would have a title and then of course a subject area. We get into the subject area and now I want to insert a picture here so I'm going to go ahead and do that with the N. And I want a tree. So now I'm going to go ahead and tap into my pictures and I'm going to go ahead and just quickly select a tree. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly select that tree and insert it into my slide. And there's my next slide. So let's go ahead and create another slide. Slide three. And let's put presence. And let's go ahead and go into our object area. And we once again want to insert object placeholder. Type in presence. And now we're going to go ahead and tap into our presence. And actually, this looks like a really nice... We've got a Christmas tree and presence. Now, let's say I want to change the size of that picture. And I want to go ahead and go into my size. It's 59% right now. I'm going to lock aspect ratio, so as I increase the, the height, the width will also increase. So let's go ahead and change that to... So it's 59% right now, so let's go ahead and change that to 75%, which will make it much larger. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And then I can, of course, move that around by hitting my arrow key. Okay, let's get escape out of there. Let's go ahead and create a new document. Now let's say I actually want to change the layout of this. So I'm going to go ahead and go to L, Layout, H, L, content, to navigate, press left or right arrow, F. and uh, let's go ahead and go down to Blank. Let's okay. say I just want to caption, insert land. just a blank picture, and I'm going to hit no Enter, object, and all the information disappears there. So let's go ahead and go back over to our clip art. F6, leaving menus, Microsoft, clip organizer, dialog, left there, search in dot 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 right tab, find more at office.com, link. Tab, hits for find tab, search for colon edit, present, and let's text. go ahead and search for a dog. Dog, enter, edit, dog, type in text, search, and type into the media. Tab, include office, dot tab, left there, and search in dot 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 right there, and list box animals, cat, dog, and dog, what a wonderful context menu to navigate, press enter, leaving menu. Gift. Let's go ahead and change the size of that as it is very large. Change our size. Let's go ahead and move that down to 35. And of course, I can move that around with my arrow keys and center it beautifully and escape out of my picture before I create my next slide. Let's create my next slide. And I'm going to change the layout of this. Upper H, semicolon, L, land to navigate, press left or right arrow, T. And let's go ahead and do two content, two content. areas. Enter, no selection to select an object, press tab, tab, title, place folder. And this is going to be Y, I, love, Christmas. Skip out, tab in, tab to the next content. Um, I. I like this, the happiness in people. And as you can see, it's making bullets as I type this. I love lights. 
So that's my list. I'm going to get out of that bullet list. I'm going to go ahead and go over to my third. And I'm going to insert a picture in here. So once again, I want to go ahead and go back over to my clipboard. And I'm going to go ahead and type in lights here. And then I'm going to go down to my pictures, and I'm going to see if I can find a light that I actually like. That is a pretty one. I enjoy that one. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And there is my Christmas lights. Now, if you are blind, you really want to be able to use your placeholders because you can independently insert your pictures in your graphics as you wish if you use the place the placeholders that are already built into Microsoft PowerPoint. And as you heard, JAWS described the pictures very clearly uh, within the uh, clip art. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new page. And once again, we have placeholders for absolutely everything. And so we're going to go ahead and place, I'm going to show you how you can easily place the pictures once you have the correct layout. So we have, uh, let's go ahead and change our layout here. Menu bar, ribbon, H, O, L, two content, to navigate, press left or right arrow And we are in two content. So if you want two content, you can choose that or you can choose one content. Let's go ahead and go title up slide, land. to one content. content. Title and content. Title and Enter, content. No select an object, and tab. you tab, tab in. Title, and oh, this and is one, one content. E, e, e. Escape content, out. Escape tab in and the picture will fill this content area and I'm going to go ahead and hit F6 to pull for my pictures lights again because uh, we're going to get a plethora of different lights here and I'm going to tab in my lights and we're going to do the large light bulbs and as you can see the, the lights fit perfectly within that content area let's do one more so create another page, and we're going to do two content area. H L H L title and content to navigate. Press left or right arrow. Title slot two content. Two content area. So now we're going to have two pictures in here. Tab in. Two content. So I actually wanted to center that title. So the control E. Let's go ahead. And now we're going to place two pictures within this page perfectly. Let's go ahead and F6 to jump over again. And we're back into our lights. We're going to go ahead and just do those since I love lights. And let's go look for a couple more lights here. And that one looks very festive. Yellow star Christmas light. Yellow star Christmas lights. And insert that. And as you can see, the lights fit perfectly within that content box. So I'm going to escape out of there, and we're going to go to the next content area. F6 takes me over to my pane, and I'm going to go ahead and go back down into my lights. And let's look for some different lights here. And I in multi Christmas lights. I like that one. And we're going to insert those. And they too insert perfectly. So it doesn't matter whether you are blind uh, or low vision. If you use the content slides within PowerPoint, you can make perfect slides all the time. OK, go and have some fun. All these lessons are at www.yourtechvision.com.